everybody, welcome back to This Random Journey. Today I want to tell you about a project that I had my husband work on the other day for my King's Kids class. So I went to the store and grabbed a fog machine um, for this, I wanted this cool effect in my King's Kids class of during my lesson. And for some reason in my mind, I had that a fog machine would be this blanket of fog on the ground that was just like a beautiful sheet of white and when you walked through it, it would just like kind of move out of the way and I don't know why in my mind I was thinking that's how it was but I know that a fog machine is not that so I get the fog machine home and I plug it in and the house fills with fog which of course is what it's supposed to do all the smoke detectors go off we have to open the house up to air it out so I looked on the internet for a solution to the problem to see if I could get the fog to stay on the ground because I, I know they, they do that. Um, so I looked and I found a really neat project that my husband and my son worked on together and I wanted to share that with you. So here it is. Yep, let's go in the house. Okay. okay, so this is our first attempt at making a low fog uh, machine. I don't know how else to say it. Anyway, so we got our fog machine set up. It's about an inch or two away from the uh, tub, so don't worry, it's not gonna like catch on fire or anything. Um, we have the fog machine liquid on top, just holding that lid and some. Uh, towels on it to try to make it a better seal and then hopefully the fog is going to come out these holes and stay low to the ground. We have ice, just regular ice inside of here so let's give it a shot. Um, it is staying pretty low to the ground though. Look at this. It's not cold. I think we need more ice, obviously. Not very much ice. And definitely next time we try it, we're not going to have the fan going. But it is. Like, look at this. It's staying on the ground. A lot better.
Alright, try number two. The only thing we changed really was the way it's going to exit. We made it a long thing instead of little holes. Alright, and we've made sure there's no air movement. Here we go. Yeah, it seems like it's spreading out pretty good. It's staying pretty low to the ground. Alright, test three. That's working a lot better, Jim. Yeah. A lot, lot better. Wow, look at that. Alright, so we just made this hole bigger there. Batter. Okay guys, so that was our attempt at making a low lane fog fog machine. Um, it went okay. Do I think that it was um, ex executed as well as it could, could have been? No, I don't. I think that we could have done a lot better. Um, also in the real world setting, uh, in the classroom itself, because of the body heat from the kids, uh, the room temperature was a lot hotter than what it would have been here at the house at the time that we was testing this out. And so the fog first came out and it was like it was a home, but then it quickly dispersed into the room, into the air, which then made the kids start coughing and it made it a lot harder to, get, to teach the lesson. So for that kind of a setting, I don't think that this kind of a... Um, fog machine is going to work. Now if it was on a larger scale, um, perhaps if you was on a stage and, and you could regulate the temperature to be lower, it might actually work like on a stage setting if you just needed a low grade fog to like sweep across the stage or something to that effect. So uh, play around with it and if you do and you try this out and you like it or maybe it fails and you just want to let us know, put that down in the comments so that we can check it out. Uh, pictures would love to see those um, also don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and I'll see you next time also before I let you go I wanted to let you know where you can send those pictures to I have a Facebook page called this random journey and I'm also on Instagram if you want to check that out at this random journey so check those uh, out and I'm also on Twitter I don't use that quite as much um, I don't know, it's just not my thing, I guess. But check out my Facebook, I'm on there a lot, and uh, my Instagram, I'm on there quite a bit. So check those out. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.